episode uh, of Beauty and Geeks, so two episodes a week. Uh, right now, we're not in that schedule right now. We're kind of a little bit behind in our shooting schedule. So the uh, episode number five, which would have been for Friday, is being being postponed. It's still being filmed. So as a matter of fact, most of it has been filmed already. It's going to be a, um, a thrifting haul. Uh, that will be on Monday, Tuesday. It will go up Monday night for Tuesday. And that way it can get us back into schedule again uh, uh, for the two week, uh, the two episodes per week. So that's the way we're going to do things. The way we're going to get ourselves into, uh, into that schedule so that we can achieve it. It has everything has to be filmed a day ahead of time before it actually goes up. Uh, before it goes up, and so there is a certain amount of rescheduling that has to happen in order for the two episodes per week to happen. So, that's what we're going to work on. We're also, I've decided that, that since I am uh, a geek uh, coming into the beauty community, that uh, we're still learning the ropes here. And rather than simply uh, play this off as a comedy, uh, I'm going to try my hand at, uh, at, at, the, at style, at finding my own style, looking at different things. And because I do have a research background uh, in astrophysics that allowed me to sort of wander into a lot of different fields, including uh, medical research, I thought that this would be an opportunity that we maybe we could start, start discussing, uh, bringing into the episodes here, uh, some health tips on health and beauty. So we can do that as well. So the main thing here is that we're going to look at my style, try to sort of figure out what I am, where I am in my style. I know. I have some goth influences. I like uh, some of the um, uh, the Japanese um, the, the uh, Lolita uh, Lolita styles. I like that style. Um, I do like uh, a lot of uh, brighter, girly colors, but I also like some of the darker colors. And another, it's going to be a challenge for me to sort of not follow trends, but to sort of set my own path, to sort of develop my own geek chic, if you will. And maybe this would be uh, something that other girls or any other geeks will maybe want to do the same thing. So, don't know, don't know how it's going to work out. But uh, if you don't try this, if you don't try it, you never, ne you're never going to know. So that's where we're going to go. But today's episode, on to today's episode, and that's going to be the virtual visit. Yes, we're going to be visiting another p uh, channel today and talking uh, about uh, what this channel is all about. So. In the next segment, we will be talking about our virtual visit. In this channel of visit, we are going to be cha challenging the standard definition of beauty. In other words, where we look at the definition of beauty and then expanding a horizon. Currently, uh, the average beauty guru is a co what we call a cosmopolitan beauty beauty guru. Cosmopolitan is the standard fashionista, the uh, New York, L.A., Paris, London. Um, it's your standard uh, makeup. Um, these are the uh, the pretty girls, the princesses. This is the type of beauty that we commonly think of. However, there is another beauty, and this page, uh, this channel actually brings up this beauty, this type of beauty, in a very nice and very uh, thoughtful manner. Uh, this is known as natural beauty. 
this is a girl who doesn't wear makeup or a lot of makeup at all, and so she's not going to be doing any uh, makeup tutorials. But she has a natural beauty all her own. And she builds off of this to give herself uh, her own sense of style. This is was the difference between being trendy and being stylish. If you're more or less fashionable, you're following trends, you're following what somebody else does. If you're stylish, you can create your own style. You don't have to follow somebody else's trend. You don't have to be fashionable. And natural beauty is about creating your own style, your own individual uh, look, something that you feel comfortable in. And this is exactly what this girl does. She brings in the challenge uh, and the difference uh, going out from the cosmopolitan, the cosmopolitan standard of beauty, the common standard of beauty, into the natural sphere of beauty, that being the naturally beautiful being herself, being and having her own style. And this actually reflects where she lives. Um, you, you can see right here, there is a beautiful photograph. This is a, I, mean, I really love the outdoors. She lives in a very nicely wooded area. Uh, if you can see the, the quality of the environment that, that's there. Very beautiful environment. And what she does is actually to bring out um, the, the, the uniqueness of her environment in her clothing style. Now, her channel, uh, and the link and the information will be down below the bar, is uh, KK Hart. Uh, Mac, and apparently she is, well, she's still in medical, middle, middle school, so she's still experimenting with makeup. I don't know if she knows exactly where she wants to go just yet, but she seems to see uh, on the website, she's trying to experiment, but on her videos that I've watched so far, she's talked about um, not doing makeup tutorials, maybe trying a more natural look. I encourage her to stay with the natural look, to try out this natural beauty type of thing, and really sort of uh, have that where have that as her uh, center for beauty, and of being, uh, being natural beauty. So in other words, she would, in terms of, of what she would do in terms of, of the look and, and beauty group, she would be looking at natural ways of coloring the hair, um, other uh, ways of using uh, different things like lemon or or some other. Uh, 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 other, other uh, juices like that to color the hair, to, to lighten the hair, or darken the hair, or something like that. In other words, she would look at the natural ways of uh, of enhancing one's beauty rather than simply uh, looking at out of the box commercial brand uh, style of uh, beauty, that, as you would see in most common kind of all the beauty gurus. Um, so I, I encourage you to stay with that. What she has done already, she's done, she's done two uh, outfit, of the, out, outfit of the days uh, that I like. I went and saw those two, two there. And I picked up two looks. One, she is wearing a short sleeve shirt with a uh, red, uh, red uh, pants and uh, some really nice boots. Uh, very cute. Uh, this is the picture here. Again, it, it, it really fits her and it fits her environment. Uh, it fits where she is. And it sort of really sort of brings out the beauty, the naturalness of the actual environment you can actually, can actually be seen uh, in what she's wearing. Uh, now this is probably this is earlier in the year, so it's uh, not as uh, <laughs> the trees aren't as full and as lush as it was in the previous photograph. And the previous thing so this was an earlier uh, outfit. Uh, but nonetheless, you can see the woods, you can see the trees, and you can see that this style that she has uh, in this, in her videos, in her in this with this outfit, is more of a you know it it fits her life, it fits who she is, and so when we go to the next outfit, her, her second outfit of the day that that, that I like, uh, which was good as well, we see her here now. She's sitting. Um, in the uh, in the wooded area, she's on an old antique, but look at antique looking anyway. It's very nicely weathered, uh, love seat with the two chairs there, with a table in between. 
It's sort of a connected type of thing. Very nice. Very. I love old vintage furniture. I love that worn, weathered look. I love the, the where she is. I love that. That's the type of environment that I really do enjoy. I go out for my walk. I go out for my hikes. I do everything by hiking. Uh, uh, that's how much I love it. And you can see here, she's in a plaid shirt. She's got some nice skinny jeans on and a nice pair of shoes. It's not an overly outfit. It's not an outfit that is, I want to say, uh, cosmopolitan, but one fitting for the environment. It's the style, in other words, it matches her style. It matches who she is as a person. And I encourage her to continue on in this fashion. Continue on looking at who she is as a person and bringing out her own style in her clothing, bringing out her own style into her guru channel and showing us something different, something outside the standard cosmopolitan view. Show us something different uh, from the beauty uh, from the beauty community. So that that I encourage her to stay on this path, to stay on the path where uh, you know if she could sort of uh, find her own ways and find her own style, that would be a, a really an amazing thing to see from her. I think she's got a great thing going with her with her beauty channel. Uh, I hope that she can stay uh, on the natural beauty natural beauty path, stay within her own style, and really sort of bring that forward. And I wish her all the success on YouTube. I hope that she, for, well more important than success. I hope that she's happy that she enjoys what she's doing. That's the real thing is that you need to really enjoy what you're doing. Have fun with it. Yeah, I know there's work involved, there's, you know, shooting schedule, there's editing, there's all, all that, that goes along with it. But it's also important to have fun. And I think that she will do that. I think that she's, she'll be able to make a, a, a success in her job. I noticed that uh, she's actually gotten up to 80, 80, uh, 80 plus uh, subscribers. That's a good thing. She, went, she moved up on, on, in terms of her subscriber, the number of subscribers, she moved up pretty quickly. So, you know, she's actually moving faster than I am in terms of, in terms of her subscriptions. So, uh, I, you know, I wish her the, all the, luck, the best of luck. I hope that she does very well and I hope that she's happy with what she's doing. So, anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I said next week's episode, or should, yeah, on Monday, which will be episode number five, we'll be doing a thrift haul looking at thrifting itself and, and if you want more thrifting all if you want more virtual visits give me sites you want uh, if you want have channels that you want me to review that you want me to go visit and see who they are and do something about that let me know in the down below bar uh, you can also post a video comment or a video response to this uh, my video comments and video responses are open uh, they're not uh, I don't hold back uh, videos for approval they can upload it as easily as posting a comment uh, so go ahead and do that. Uh, if you're going to advertise your channel, uh, your Beauty Guru channel, this is only open to the Beauty Guru channel, if you're going to advertise your Beauty Guru, please keep your video comment short to about 30 seconds, do a 30 second splur, and that will be fine. Uh, and that's it for this episode. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Democratic Earth. Earth.